Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Ostriv Tri-Town Alpha. Now, uh, last time I queued up a massive stack of uh, houses, so those are, uh, it's running through the queue on those. Um, right, so I guess uh, realistically uh, we've got a bunch of uh, waiting to do. Now I did that because I want to have the uh, workforce uh, increased. Uh, anyway, um, I think I was uh, what uh, what was I doing? I was building a. All oh, right, I was building a farm. Um. Yeah, that's right, because I was going to uh, get stuck in with. Um, uh, did I, uh, right, because I'm getting wheat and hemp going, right, that's, that's right, uh, now I remember what I was doing. Uh, so I've got another, uh, farm being constructed here, which, uh, if the, uh, forester removes the trees, uh, fast enough, uh, then, uh, well, uh, it'll get constructed over the, uh, winter, and, uh, I'll be able to get it, uh, set up with fields and uh, get production operational uh, right away uh, in the uh, spring so yeah that'll be good um, while we're uh, waiting I want to check in on the uh, yeah we're uh, we're okay in the cow sheds yep yeah we're definitely okay in the cow sheds I've got um, oxen uh, growing. Uh, now we've ordered a couple of plows in the first uh, first two farms. Yep. Uh, so there's that's definitely good. So okay we're here. Um, yeah not so much. Okay. Um, right. Uh, how are we doing here? Four trees left. Uh, I could build another forester over here and then this would go faster, but, um, you know, quite frankly, I, I don't need to. Uh, you know, I can just, uh, just wait. And now let's take a look at the economy panel here. Now, we've got, um, uh, well, it's showing a net positive of 80 or so. Um, and that's with an import of 400, so, uh, we should theoretically, uh, be digging out of debt if the, uh, if the numbers are behaving correctly. Uh, right. Uh, so I think over here, I'm going to build a, uh, chicken coop type operation. Um, we've got enough hay coming in. Um, you know, maybe I'll, I'll add some more cow sheds, actually, uh, ultimately. Uh, but we need to get the, uh, the farming up, the agriculture going. Um, with hemp coming in, uh, we can actually start making textiles if I have the... Um, uh, production chain uh, in my uh, head right uh, so that will uh, definitely be uh, 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 be um, a good for the uh, town uh, once we can get some uh, more advanced goods for sale in the uh, market stalls we'll definitely be able to uh, improve the uh, finances and probably be able to reduce the um, a rent for the uh, houses and, and, and everything um, but anyway uh, yeah we're, we're up to uh, minus 1460 now from minus 1560 or so uh, so what's that um, what's that showing yeah we, d we definitely have a, a, a net positive uh, income okay so winter is here it's December so um, right uh, yeah, we got a family that's out of money. Um, mostly I ignore those, but 
let's uh, let's just check in on that family and see what we've got. They just came to town. Well, let's give them some financial help and just see what happens. Um, part of that is because we raised the house rent last time around, but uh, uh, you know, part of it is uh, what they're they're uh, unemployed, so that's definitely not helping them either. Um, yeah, so that's that's what I want to do. I want to get some uh, employment going, uh, and. Uh, you know, I kind of wish there was a way you could hire permanent laborers so that you're paying them year-round, even if you don't need them. Uh, and I think that would uh, that would definitely help the economy a bit. You know, like you could have a labor pool that uh, that you uh, you just manage for the good of the town, right? Um, you know, these guys they're laborers, and we're paying them all the time, and they'll just do what needs doing, right? Uh, I don't think that would be so uh, so far. Uh, oh, we've uh, run out of trees to clear for this farm, so it's going up now. Um, yeah, you know, I seem to recall in an earlier version of uh, of the game, it used to. Okay, let's just pause it here. It used to uh, deliver to the uh, the once it had delivered all of the stuff to the first thing in the build queue it would go to the next thing in the build queue and start delivering stuff and uh, it doesn't seem to do that anymore and uh, I kind of wish it would go it would do that anyway uh, let's um, add uh, fields here uh, I also uh, there's been calls for a, a grid for placing things and uh, I kind of uh, would like a, a grid that I can snap things to uh, when uh, placing things. That would be kind of nice. Because, uh, I mean, even, even in the 1700s, uh, uh, they certainly uh, knew how to survey land and... Uh, uh, set things up so that uh, they could, uh, you know, get things laid out nicely uh, when they were planning things. Whoops. Now, what we're going to do here is uh, hire options. We will not hire men. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, so we'll hire a manager and we'll hire everything there now uh, we're going to do wheat uh, oh right we have to let the game run we ha really uh hire a manager no 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 oh come on Hire a manager. No. Oh well, I guess we'll uh, go with that. Okay, and we'll add uh, hemp. Uh, and this is going to be fallow, wheat, hemp. This is going to be hemp, fallow, wheat. Right, so active, active, active. Good. Okay, so at the end of this uh, game here, we should have uh, uh, hemp and uh, and wheat. Well, yeah, we should have hemp and wheat. Now, uh, once all of these things uh, get built, which is this uh, big operation up here, uh, I'll uh, look into building some uh, production buildings over here. Right. Uh, so we've completed a house. We have a messenger uh, who's offering honey. And you know what? I'm going to buy that. 
Uh, okay. Now, what have we got stored up in here? Uh, we've got charcoal for export. Um, uh, how are we doing for iron? Yeah, we're okay for iron. Uh, right. Now, how are these guys doing? Oh, well, at least one of them's working, so, so that's a good sign. Uh, once the population gets high enough, I'll turn off uh, uh, immigration, uh, and uh, uh, that will uh, actually uh, improve the uh, overall balance, uh, and it'll give somewhere for, um, ch for adult children of families to uh, move out to. Because we've got some that are going to come of age in a couple of years, so... Uh, yeah. And we've got a few that are going to die off. Like, like we've got some adult children here. Uh, but... Not a lot of them. Uh, I gather that uh, the way it works is they'll pair off and then move into a house when one's available. Um, right, so that's that's why at some point I'll uh, actually turn off uh, turn off the uh, immigration because it won't be needed, right? Now let's uh, just take a boo at our uh, graveyard. We've got two people in the ground, and that's fine. Uh, more people will uh, die as time uh, progresses through the game. You know that's the way it works, right? People get old and they die, and children come along and they they grow up and they get old and all of that jazz. Now these uh, paths here uh, that are created by people just going from point A to point B, they do fade over time, and uh, like if they stop being used, so. Um, so, what, so they get created, but they also fade over time. So uh, that's um, so if, the, if there's paths bothering you, block the uh, travel with, uh, say, uh, fences, uh, and they'll uh, they'll reroute, and then the paths will fade. Uh, right. Okay. So we're still removing trees at the next construction site. Well, if I move a couple of these ahead in the queue, they'll uh, they'll start delivering resources and building them. Uh, and that will make things a little more efficient. Uh, right, now, how's the... Uh, we have four houses available, so... Uh, yeah, there's room for for immigrants, and we'll get a couple come in when the uh, spring laborers come online for the uh, the farms. Uh, you may have noticed that I haven't uh, completely silenced uh, the background uh, music in this game. It's because it's kind of soothing, really. Whoops. Okay, spring is springing. Uh, and we've got uh, on this construction site, yep, it's uh, building, so that's good. Yep, there's uh, another uh, another house online. Um, okay, yeah, we've got um, everybody's working now because the uh, the fields are uh, coming online. Uh, so we're going to get a few new families come in.
Yep, there's the uh, there's the wagon. Uh, so here we go. Uh, what did we get? Um, we got a family with an adult child. Valencia. Hmm. So you know that's okay. Uh, right. There's uh, is that a trade wagon? No. That's another family came in. Wow. We got Anton. Um, okay, that's a big family. Um, but Anton could pair up with... Uh, with Olysia, I think. Um, yeah. Oh, we got another messenger here. Uh, yeah, let's buy more. Uh, we got another um, another house went online, uh, and then the other one we had queued that was blocked for tree removal is uh, building. Uh, okay, so yeah, now we're back to having unemployment, which means the. Uh, the fields are done. Yep, so everything's uh, growing, so so that's good. So yeah, uh, I uh, uh, I I made a update video uh, on Wednesday in the usual time slot for uh, City Skylines, and I was. Um, you know, speculating what I was going to do to replace it, since uh, City Skylines itself has been too unstable to uh, be worth trying to make a series with. Uh, so I uh, I pondered, uh, you know, starting up a new game series, uh, and then I thought maybe I just chuck in a second Ostriv episode uh, every week. Uh, at least uh, for for now and you know I think that's what I'm gonna do so next week the the next uh, episode of Ostrev uh, will be up on Wednesday uh, is uh, I think the um, I think it'll be uh, interesting to uh, to progress this uh, this save a little bit faster uh, and then, uh, you know, get uh, see if we can get to uh, a much uh, deeper end game where we're uh, basically running a city uh, with uh, full production on everything, and uh, you know, see how that that pans out. This has been a while since I got a game to that late stage, and I want to see how it does. Um, right, so uh, I'm moving the. Uh, the house construction where there's no tree removals uh, forward uh, so those will get built um, now is uh, yeah they haven't uh, moved out so uh, right we had uh, oh Anton paired up with somebody Um, yeah, he did. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, that's, um, that's pretty cool, actually. Uh, and that's actually what you need, uh, to prevent families from going bust. You need the kids to grow up and move out. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, okay, so you can see our new fields are online here. Now, uh, I want to uh, check here. We've got, um, uh, what have we got here? Weaver's Workshop. Uh, produ produces textile from hemp. So, yeah, we're going to need uh, a couple of these. Um, right, no, 
that we'll put this up here uh, right so we'll put one of these here uh, I'm not sure how much uh, how much it actually uses but I'm gonna build uh, a uh, industrial park thing here uh, what is this uh, you know what I'm gonna move this to the front of the line I kind of like how you can rearrange the build queue so that uh, that actually makes the game you know kind of nice you don't have to go and shut off the the building uh, you can just rearrange the queue and uh, things just work now let's check in on the cow sheds um, okay we've got newborn bulls so let's turn them into oxen and we'll go down here and we'll do that here as well now I think that gets us enough oxen coming up the line okay we got a plow on that uh, farm uh, so yeah so I think we've got enough oxen coming up the queue uh, for now but what we're gonna do we're gonna supply for oxen here and order two plows and we're going to supply for oxen here and order two plows and yeah I know there isn't enough adult oxen I'm just getting the orders in the queue now this here is just about done so there we go um, now let's um, I'm just going to well let's just hire women here yeah um, because men make better general laborers so uh, we've got a messenger from the same town yet again let's not buy anything this time now, um, uh, we're going to also need a uh, tailor's workshop, right? Yep. So that's going to produce clothes. Okay. We'll put that here. Good. And then... I'm going to put up a market stall. Uh, market stall. Uh, yeah, we'll put it here. Uh, and I'm going to add... Uh, where is it? Clothes. And we're going to hire women here. Uh, right. Now, we don't have any yet because we haven't produced any, but... Uh, yeah. Okay, how's the uh, construction here coming? Yeah, so when the uh, harvest comes around, we'll have hemp, and uh, this will, uh, will allow, um, uh, something in the production chain to actually operate. Now, I'm actually not sure how many of each of these I need to uh, to keep things uh, operational. And we're going to do women only here as well. There we go. Right. Okay. So now we need the uh, hemp harvest to come in. And these buildings should uh, start operating. But in the meantime... Uh, we've got uh, more people employed so uh, yeah that will uh, definitely help things uh, same town yet again yeah not so much okay so we've got uh, six houses available now Uh, the foresters are busy clearing out trees. 
So there's that. Uh, right. Okay, so we've got um, fields nicely uh, operational here. Yeah, it's just about harvest time. Uh, you know, we're coming up on the end of July. Um, right, uh, okay. So really, um, I find uh, Ostriv to be quite um, relaxing with that um, music playing in the background. Uh, and it's a... You know, I've got this on fast speed just because uh, it's it, it would be boring for you guys if nothing was actually happening. Uh, but you can uh, just, um, you know, zoom in on things, watch things happen. It's kind of kind of relaxing. I mean, once you queue up a bunch of stuff... Um, you know, once you get to this point in the game, you don't need to micromanage your workforce anymore. So, uh, it's uh, really just a battle of keeping people employed. Um, right? So, that's... Uh, oh, we're, uh, we're harvesting. Good. Uh, and that's going to attract a couple of new uh, families. Uh, we've got a dozen trees that still need to come down for the uh, uh, to complete the uh, construction process. Now, what? Who came in here? Okay. Now I'm expecting the game to start lagging pretty bad when the population gets up around 300 or so. Uh, we're going to need to uh, start exploiting stone before then, though. Uh, so we can build a uh, church. Uh, but until then, uh, we don't need to uh, do anything in particular. We got a new family coming in again. I think we've had some uh, uh, some children uh, pair up and move out. Oh, we had... Uh, uh, we had somebody pass on, so... So now we've got uh, three uh, residents in the uh, cemetery. Uh, we've got another family coming in. Um, harvesting is... Oh, um, okay. They're offering iron. We're going to buy some. Um, yeah, not so much there. Uh, we had somebody else die. Uh, right, so now there's uh, four residents in the cemetery. But, you know, uh, that's why it's there. Uh, what I should probably do is also build a flour mill. Um, where is it? Windmill converts uh, wheat into flour. Um, I'm going to put that here. Uh, move that up to the front. Uh, I think we have a uh, flower being sold. Um, maybe not. Okay, well, we'll um, add flower to the uh, inventory. Uh, so, uh, okay, so the, um, now let's, uh, resource supply will allow laborers, uh, resource supply will allow laborers, 
there we go. That's uh, that's got things uh, things going, uh, and the uh, the harvest will uh, will complete now. Ah, okay. So this is uh, higher options. No, we want this higher options. Um, right. Okay, and supply options will allow laborers to um, supply the thing. Right, okay. So I think that's basically got our uh, industry uh, production stuff. Uh, you know, the uh, new um, crops that we're uh, collecting uh, operational. So. And we're uh, producing clothes. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, so that's uh, that's definitely uh, uh, that's definitely going to be good. And then up here, uh, we should have some for uh, for sale. And it looks like people are uh, are buying them. So. Uh, so that's. Uh, Yeah, okay, so that's uh, that's doing nicely. Uh, okay, so I'm going to down-tempo this. Uh, so next time around, uh, let's just take a look here. Uh, cows. Uh, well, we're going to need a few more oxen, I think, so we'll do that. Now let's uh, just take a look in here. Uh, we've got one plow. Uh, we've got here uh, one plow. Uh, we got here nothing. Here nothing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, we got uh, another family coming in. How's our our vacancy? No vacancies. Okay. So. Okay, so next time around, uh, I'll probably be looking at uh, possibly uh, setting up uh, an export uh, uh, stockpile for uh, clothing, uh, and then uh, maybe uh, extending the uh, supply or the number of cow sheds. Uh, you know, adding uh, an additional uh, supply of uh, cattle. Uh, and then uh, from there, uh, I'm not sure. Um, I'll probably be uh, looking at expanding the agriculture even more uh, because I'm definitely going to want to be. Uh, oh, uh, before I uh, go, I'm going to add. A couple of uh, wells to the production queue. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to add a couple of wells to the production queue so that we don't run out of water. Uh, that could be really bad. Um, I'm going to move uh, m those up to the front. Yeah. Right. Okay. So uh, that will uh, will definitely um, be a good idea. Anyway, uh, so next time around, it's probably going to be more of the same, getting more industry uh, chains online. Uh, but uh, otherwise, uh, it shouldn't be uh, too big of a problem to get, uh, you know, to 
to uh, keep things rolling along. Uh, we're just about to the point where we're probably going to ha start having uh, potential issues with uh, food supplies and so on. So we might need to do some optimization or uh, basically uh, constructing some more um, uh, uh, you know, farms and so on. Uh, but anyway, uh, that'll be for the next part. Uh, so until then, uh, stay healthy. Uh, you know, don't let the zombie apocalypse bring you down. And uh, uh, keep in mind that the next episode of Ostriv should be up on Wednesday. Uh, and there will still be the usual episode on Friday. So that's all for now. Uh, see you next time.